Hey everybody, this is Ion Stuff. Today I am going to try to replicate the air battery from Laser Saber. What I have here, and these are the some of the components that you need. The first item, the most important item, is a carbon rod. Now, originally I purchased this rod about over a year ago. And finally I have the chance to work on this project. Originally this rod was double the size. It's about six inches in length now. I actually cut it in half. So it was about a foot long. I cut it in half so I can get two batteries. This particular one is oh about uh, one and a half inches in diameter. Six inches in length. So I have two of these. Laser Saber actually used a rod, carbon rod, that was I believe three inches in diameter and um, I'm not sure maybe seven or eight inches in length. These are kind of hard to find and they're not cheap. Um, you can actually find them online if you search for companies that sell carbon rods. You can use thin ones or thick ones to make an air battery. And what I did here was, uh, um, if you can see it, I drilled a hole on top, and this is for the, the positive connection. And some of the carbon dust fell out of that hole. And I have magnesium ribbon. You can obtain this from galliumsource.com, unitednuclear.com, eBay, or Amazon. So you'll find these for a few dollars for a roll of magnesium ribbon. You'll need some electrical tape. You'll need a piece of copper wire. I have a really thin piece. I did not have a really small drill bit. So I believe this is an eighth of an inch hole that I put on top of the rod. And what I'm going to do is bend the copper wire over to make it thicker and I'll push it into the hole. You'll also need some paper towel. This is regular paper towel that I cut to fit. Now this paper towel will need to wrap around the rod and overlap just a little bit. It doesn't have to be really precise but it needs to cover the entire rod. Okay, I started the wrapping of the paper towel over the carbon rod. I just put a little piece of tape. Okay, I have a third piece of tape. I'm going to place it over here. I started the magnesium ribbon at the bottom. I'm going to tape it down. And now I have to roll it around the rod here and it will come to the point where it will get really close to the first wrap. Now you want to make it maybe about a sixteenth of an inch. You want to Keep the gap really small and yet you do not want it to touch each other. Now once you get, get it about this far, what Laser Saber did was to use some electrical tape to actually hold the bottom portion together. Okay, I got some electrical tape. So I will start on the bottom here you can see and make sure that's nice and snug. Okay, wrap it around here. So it'll make a good tight connection at the bottom. Hopefully you can see this. Now, okay. Now I can continue wrapping the, the magnesium ribbon around. 
without actually touching the other portions of the ribbon. Okay, so this is how far I've gone, and you want to wrap it as tight as possible. And you don't want to tear the paper towel as well, because you do want to insulate it from the carbon rod. Okay, so here is the rod wrapped with magnesium ribbon. I'm just about finished here, but I need to tape the magnesium ribbon down at the top of the rod here. So what I'm going to do, start here with some electrical tape. Hold it down. I want to make sure that it's not touching. Then I want to kind of go around here. and make sure it's secure. I'll wrap it around a few times. Okay, got this. Okay, so one thing I need to do is kind of secure this tape on the bottom here. Okay, so this part here is the negative, so I'll give it a little uh, length here. Okay. Okay, now the last thing I need to do is insert the copper wire, bend this wire a little bit. Okay, I'm inserting the copper wire into the hole, the top of the rod. It's nice and snug. As long as it's not moving, it should be fine. So this is an air battery, six inches in length, one and a half inches in diameter. Okay, now I'm going to test the air battery that I just made. I have my voltmeter set for two volt setting. I connected the negative lead to the magnesium ribbon. Now I'm connecting the positive of the voltmeter to the copper wire inserted inserted to the top of the rod. Now let's take a look at the voltage. It's actually 1.48 volts. Okay, I completed building the second air battery. They both have about 1.5 volts output. And let's see how much current it provides. So I connect the one on the right to my meter. It's at the two milliamp setting. It's only providing about 29 microamps, which is very small. Now the air battery on the left, I sprayed it the battery with salt water. Well, right now it's about 1.5 volts. 1.5 uh, volts. Let's see how much current it provides after being sprayed with salt water. Now, after spraying with salt water, I had to move it to the 10 amp setting 
and now the one on the left is providing 700 milliamps of uh, power of current so definitely these batteries are providing some power for you I hope you enjoyed this video on making the air battery please like and subscribe thanks for watching